when I wrote I Was Only 19, I was doing what songwriters like me do. I was simply telling a story, the story of my brother-in-law. He was deployed to Vietnam in 1969 and he'd been involved in a very serious mine incident in the Long High Hills. I like to think that Australians are fundamentally decent and fair. Our Vietnam veterans came home to a bitterly divided society and they fell into the cracks. As opposed to well-meant inquiries, commissions and parliamentary committees, in four minutes, 19 seconds, I was only 19, enabled ordinary Australians to walk in the shoes and look out of the eyes of our Vietnam veterans. It stopped all of us in our tracks. And I think we all look back in shame at how we treated those blokes. While I didn't realise it until much later, I Was Only 19 is a sort of accessible dissertation on post-traumatic stress disorder in general, as well as the effects of herbicides and insecticides on our Vietnam veterans. A couple of years ago, I scripted and narrated a DVD for the Army on post-traumatic stress disorder. It was designed for soldiers pre- and post-deployment. I interviewed a wide range of veterans from a wide range of conflicts, Vietnam, East Timor, Somalia, Rwanda, Iraq and Afghanistan. Like my brother-in-law, all these guys had the courage to tell their PTSD stories so their comrades wouldn't have to suffer alone for years like they did. One of the most interesting stories I was told came from a Vietnam veteran. When he demobilised, he tried to slip back into his life in rural Queensland. He wasn't having a very good time. He had rashes that came and went, but his doctor told him they were due to his wife using too much detergent when she washed his clothes. His toenails fell out, but his doctor told him it was athlete's foot. He suffered from insomnia, but his doctor told him he was drinking too much coffee. When he first heard 19, he was driving on a country Queensland road. He told me he pulled over onto the verge and listened to the song. And then he cried. After he dried his eyes, he told me his first thought was, those bastards have been lying to me. Because clearly, if some bloke could write a song that spoke directly to his heart and directly to his experience, he wasn't the only one. So he sought out other veterans and he found there were veteran support groups scattered all over the place, loose, unstructured, but all determined to fight for justice and a voice. It was the start of a movement. Over the 30 odd years since I wrote and recorded it, lots of people have said lots of very nice things about I Was Only 19. But for me, the song reminds us all that we can oppose a war vigorously if that's what our conscience demands of us. But we must always support and respect the people we send to fight it. This song's lasted so long, among other things, because it speaks the truth about PTSD. It sets it in a real life context. Armed combat is the highest form of public service. When men and women come home from whatever conflict our government sends them to, we owe them and their families all the help and support that we can possibly give them. They didn't count the cost and neither should we. I would like to think that my song I Was Only 19 honours all the men and women who've worn Australia's uniform and put themselves in harm's way in our name. We honour them and we must stand with them when they face the difficult challenges of coming home. We honour the veterans who've stepped up to be a part of this medical research so they can help the next generation of vets. I'm really sorry I can't be there with you tonight, but thank you. Oh, one last thing. Don't let anyone ever tell you that songs can't change the world. <laughs>